Lucas. Na, 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 na. Lucas. NCT Lucas. Ooh NCT's Lucas made these hilarious mistakes when learning Korean. Don't we all make mistakes? I, uh, yeah, I always make mistakes. What are you talking about? We always, always, always make mistakes, okay? He accidentally offended his seniors. Oh, whoops, I forgot to get my green screen. I'll be back. So let's find out how NCT Lucas offended his seniors. Oh my god. Everyone who learns a new language is bound to make blunders, and Lucas is no exception. Yeah, I've made blunders so far when I've been learning Korean. Ugh. Oh my god. Lucas, you're just a visual god. Oh. Yeah. You're so. Oh, dude. He's actually fucking good looking. I'm jealous. We don't need our cap on. What are we doing? This talented NCT member was born in Hong Kong to a Chinese father and a Thai mother. Prior to becoming a SM Entertainment trainee, Lucas already spoke Cantonese, Mandarin and English. Holy crap, you're a genius. Holy, I can only speak English. Like, not that well. And it's my main language. God damn it, dude. Can you stop being good looking? Gosh. He told the Happy to give a cast that he didn't speak any Korean when he first moved to Korea to begin his trainee life. Oh, y you know what? That that sounds that sounds about right. And look at that. I didn't know any Korean back then. <laughs> In fact, during a group meeting with Lee Soo Min, SM Entertainment's founder, Lucas just nodded along without understanding a word of what was being said. Same. I always do that. Oh yeah. I didn't know any Korean back then, so I pretended to understand. Yes, yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. His acting was so convincing. His acting was so convincing that Lee Soo Min was none the wiser. Lucas told the cast that he now understands 70 to 80 percent of what is being said. But back then, his lack of knowledge about Korean culture caused problems for him. Holy! Oh, it was really hard to say hello to people. Oh, same. I, I struggled to say hello, maybe because I got social anxiety. As a foreigner, Lucas wasn't used to incorporating bowing as part of his greetings. He used to say hello in passings rather than bowing, which was inadvertently offended, which inadvertently offended his seniors. Also, Lucas's height didn't help the situation either. He believes that his seniors may have been even more offended by the improper greeting because he seemed like he was looking down on them. God damn it, you're so tall. Probably shorter than me though. Six foot four. Represent. Skirt, skirt. Since I am taller, I looked down on them and said hi. Hello. That isn't the only time Lucas found himself in trouble. Ooh, we're getting to learn more of his mistakes. <laughs> when he was first learning Korean. Korean. He also didn't realize that there was a difference between Hyong, used by males to address older males, and Oppa, used by females to address older males. Oh. Lucas had a 50 50 shot of getting it right but ended up making the wrong choice. Oppa. Lucas is so charming though that it's impossible to hold these innocent mix ups against them. Oh. I know, right? Just look at him. To see more, you can check out the subtitled Happy to Give a Clip here. Okay, why not? Far out. Yeah. <laughs> oh what sir? Yeah, oh, that was pretty, that was pretty good. When when I actually just well, I should have just watched the video from the start to be honest. But uh, we need to make the video long. Yeah, but yeah, we all make mistakes when we're learning a language. Uh, I was doing that when uh, at primary school I had to learn the uh, native language of New Zealand which is the Mara language I kind of uh, I got it wrong and all that stuff and it was kind of weird when I was getting it wrong because like people laughed at me ouch but I feel like when I go to Korea 
I'm gonna make mistakes just like that, you know. I'm probably gonna somehow call a Hyong Opa when I know that it isn't that way, even though I feel like I will. But yeah, there'll definitely be a lot of mistakes. That's why we make mistakes. We make mistakes so we can continue to grow. We can get up from those mistakes and make ourselves a better person, okay? That's why we make mistakes. So next time you guys make a mistake, say, I did that, or you can say, yeah, I made a mistake. Now I know what to do right next time. I made myself a better person instead of being like, ah. God, that was such an anime thing to do. Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, my God. But, uh, you guys, other than that, that's basically gonna be all for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you guys did, then definitely show some support by leaving a like. And also comment down below if you've made any mistakes like this whilst learning a language. Let me know. And also subscribe to the channel because there'll be more news content coming to you guys. Is this even news? But there'll be more content like this coming to you guys. So stay tuned for that by subscribing and uh yeah other than that i hope you guys have a great day and just keep on smiling and i'll do yours do squad